Hey everybody, Greg Pruitt here with Idaho Dispatch, and I am here just outside the Capitol building, as you can see. Capitol building is right here, so I am on the corner of 6th and Jefferson. And, you know, our goal was to come down, uh, I believe, on Sunday, if I remember correctly. There was a demonstration that was being planned by some members of... Uh, the homeless community here in Boise and they set up camp. This is the old Ada County Courthouse for those that don't know this building right here to the left of, of the camp. So our goal was just to come out and and actually try to talk to the folks and find out exactly what's going on. We do know that there, uh, according to some of the other news coverage that's happened and other news media outlets that have covered the event, uh, the goal of these folks was to talk about housing and the need for more housing. So I went over to try and talk to these folks about, you know, what they're doing and what their full demonstration is about. Uh, there is an individual over there who is definitely no fan of the Auto Dispatch. He's been on a number of videos, I think at least one other video. And as soon as I went over, he recognized me and said, don't talk to this guy. He's from the Idaho Dispatch. And that's fine. He has every right to uh, make his opinion. I told the other individuals there they could make their own decision on whether or not we tell both sides of the story, which we have always done. And my goal was only to come down and talk to talk to them about their demonstration and what they're trying to do. Uh, none of them wanted to be interviewed. That was fine. They also tried to say that they did not consent to being filmed. However, we are in a public space, and from what we have gathered, they are on this space illegally and do not have permission to be where they are. But, you know, the Idaho Dispatch has a right to film out here in a public space, and so we kind of went a, a distance away. Just to kind of let you guys briefly know that we did come down, we did try to talk to the individuals here about the housing issues that they have and and what they are trying to accomplish with their with their demonstration uh, but they did not they did not want to be interviewed and that's and that's fine you know but we did want to give them the chance uh to be interviewed if they wanted to be interviewed and nobody did uh, at this time and that's fine and so uh you know we did take a couple pictures and you guys will be able to see those pictures here briefly uh one of the one of the issues, I guess, from some of the other news coverage that we had seen, I think it was on KTVB, was that um, there was, how are you doing, sir? Good, thanks. Good. So, oh, that was that was the other thing. They tried to, I, I guess, claim that I was a, I was the news media for the police. <laughs> so, <laughs> not really sure, not really sure what that means exactly, but uh, yeah, we're just here trying to cover the event, so. Um, but I think on, if I remember correctly, on KTVB, one of the uh, things that they had said was that there's not enough affordable housing or, or shelters available to the homeless community here in Boise. And obviously, as, as most of the people living in the Treasure Valley know, the housing has been a very uh, big issue uh, for a lot of people, saying that the housing in, in Idaho in general has just gotten really, really expensive. They had also interviewed with KTVB Bill Roscoe with the Boise Rescue Mission. He says that they have over 150 homes that, or excuse me, 150 beds that they had available. And so there is some housing, or excuse me, some uh, shelters that do have some room available. And so, um, you know, I'd, I'd, again, our, my goal was to go and talk to them, see and if they knew that those, that that shelter had some space available where they could go and not have to be outside in, in a tent or whatever. I did. I do know they had some butane heater, heaters over there uh, that they were they were laid down, they weren't using them currently. And so uh, our goal was to try and talk to these folks, to interview them, find out you know, what, what their issues were that they were fighting for. Are they trying to talk to the city of Boise? Are they trying to talk to uh, the legislature? Do they want legislation proposed or is it just, a, uh, just something that they can talk to the city about you know what was their what was their big concerns but they and they again they didn't want to do an interview and that and that's totally fine i believe if i remember correctly it's the guy with the hat on over there that is the gentleman who told all of them not to talk to me and again that's 
completely his right to say whatever they want to say. He, he has that right to do that. And it was our right to try and, and our goal really to try and, and find out what's going on and let the citizens of Idaho know, let the viewers and the readers of Idaho Dispatch know uh, what was going on down at the Capitol. So for those that don't know, we are down here at the Capitol. This is across the street from, uh, we are on 6th and Jefferson is, is where it is. This, this is the old, for those that don't know, this is the old Ada County Courthouse right here. And so uh, we knew that this was taking place on, I believe Sunday was their initial demonstration. So our goal was just to come over here and, and talk to these guys and interview them. And one of the demonstrators, I guess, is flipping me off. I even told them, I said, I'm, look, I'm going to go on the other side of the tent where you guys really can't be seen if you don't want to be seen. Um, but they are, uh, I guess, giving me the bird now, which again, their First Amendment right to express their, their opinion. And, you know, we wanted to give them the opportunity to interview with Idaho Dispatch, you know, and, and one of the guys tried to say, we uh, do not have uh, the, the right to film. And we told them that we do have the right to film. We're not, we weren't trying to, you know, oust anybody or anything. We just said that, look, this is a public space and we're coming down here to do a news report. That's, that's what we do. That's our goal. Um, and so we're, we're just trying to report and give them an opportunity. They didn't want to take the opportunity to interview with Idaho Dispatch. Dispatch. So for those, again, that don't know, we are down here in Boise, Idaho, across, uh, this is Jefferson that runs this way, that goes in front of the Capitol. That's where a lot of demonstrations take place on the Jefferson Capitol steps, for those that don't know. And then we are on the corner of 6th Street. And so uh, there was, there is a, an encampment here that we are told was set up um, outside the confines of the law. And again, not even a reason we were here. We were just trying to come and interview these guys to find out if they were pushing for legislation, if they were pushing for something else from the cities, if they were pushing for private enterprises to do more for uh, being able to, if they're, oh, it looks like they're trying to, okay, trying to block. They're flipping me off, I guess. That's fine. Uh, we were trying to give them an opportunity to speak. They're speaking and they don't want the Idaho Dispatch to do anything. And they're, I guess, trying to block <laughs> our view of the encampment, which again, wasn't really the goal. I even told them, if, if you look, I have every right uh, as a news organization to go over and film anywhere on that property because it is public property where they have set up an illegal camp. And, uh, you know, I actually said, hey, look, I'm gonna go over on the other side. You guys don't have to be seen. When I first started filming, I don't know that anybody could be seen but uh, they wanted to, you know, they're going to do whatever they're going to do, and that's, that's their choice. So, um, anyway, if you guys have any questions, I didn't see any questions over here. Let's see. Uh, oh, sorry, you're, go you're good. I'll turn. That way you're not on. There you go. <laughs> um, I, so as far as I know, this is not a permitted protest or anything like that from what I understand, at least from other media coverage, was that the encampment was set up out and is not supposed to be there. And from what at least I think KTBB said, they were going to uh, stay there until somebody removes them. And so I don't, I don't actually know anything else other than that. If you guys have any other questions, let me know. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I don't, I don't see any other questions. Again, I, we went over, I tried to talk to the folks that were over there. They didn't want to interview. One of their guys over there said, um, don't interview with Idaho Dispatch. And he has every right to say that. He has every right to tell them that. I said, either he can speak for all of you, or if you guys want to interview, I would happily be, I would happily interview anybody that want to interview but they didn't want to do that and that's again their choice so they do have some bit the big butane heaters over there but they were laid down kind of halfway under a tarp um, or a blanket of some kind I can't remember and so uh, my goal again was just to go interview them the heaters weren't being used and, and maybe they just used them at night or something I'm not sure I 
can only uh, tell you guys what I was able to um, just see and talk about briefly before I, I came over here just to do this brief report. So, uh, somebody said, is someone checking to make sure they're actually sleeping there? How are they staying? How are they staying home at night? So again, I, I don't know. I haven't actually talked to the police or the ISP yet on whether or not, uh, whether or not anybody's actually staying in here or what they're doing. I'm not sure actually what they're doing right now. They're kind of moving stuff around. I know they put up the big brown tarp there to prevent me from, I guess, seeing them. <laughs> and again, I think when I first started filming and they knew I was coming over to here, here to film, uh, I don't know that anybody could be seen really. Uh, maybe one person could be seen. I'm not really sure, but I did tell them, you know, look, this is, this is public, public, public space. And, you know, we have a, we have a right to film. And that was really the only goal was to just to talk to them about, about their, demonstration and what they were doing, but they didn't want to do that. So anyway, um, yeah, so that's, I guess that's it. I, I did my best to come down here and report on what was happening. I did my best to give them an opportunity to, uh, you know, talk to me and talk to the citizens of Idaho about what they were doing. As all of you guys know, I am, you know, I've always done my best to talk to both sides of an issue, to reach out to both sides of any issue and let them know exactly what I'm doing and, and give them an opportunity to speak without me expressing my opinion about any particular situation. So even if I have my own opinion about, about what's happening, all that kind of stuff, I leave that out of my reporting. I've always done my best at least to do that, to leave that out. And even if I interview these guys, that would have been the exact same thing I would have done. I would have left it out. I, I would have, you know, oftentimes I try to if there's not another side here to debate, I'll try to play devil's advocate, so to speak, right? And, and get their opinions on, and, and I guess rebuttals, that if they want to give a rebuttal to a criticism that somebody might have, I give them a, an opportunity to, to give those rebuttals. So anyway, with that, uh, temperature's dropping a little bit, so I'm going to, I guess, head out. I'll, I'm going to head into the Capitol for a little bit, and... Um, I'll, I guess I'll try to let you guys know maybe a little bit more about what's happening. They've really like started to re, they've really started to kind of redo the uh, camp here, I guess. And so I'm not really sure exactly what's, what's happening, but um, anyway, so if you guys have any other questions, feel free to let me know. I will keep you updated on, on what is happening down here and uh if you have any other questions or if you guys have any other information about this particular story and situation, feel free to let me know. I will do my best to cover it and we'll talk to you guys soon. Oh, also, please, if you guys haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the Idaho Dispatch. We'd love to keep this thing going. It's idahodispatch.com forward slash subscribe. We'd love to have you guys uh, on board and helping us try to continue this coverage. Take care.